What does living the baptized life look like? Well, we have some clues for that. First, in the Catechism, right after the section on holy baptism, the very next section gives us a clue of what baptism life looks like. It's confession, absolution. When we gather in worship on Sunday morning, as we begin the service, we hear that same name that was placed upon us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And as soon as we're reminded that God has put His name on us and that He promises to be here with us, we confess our sins. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. That's the life outside of baptism. Baptism is a clear recognition that I'm a sinner, a sinner that sins, and a sinner that needs a Savior. We confess our sins in the beginning of the worship service so that we can hear even more clearly the gospel good news of what Jesus has already done for you. In the Catechism, Luther starts off the last section this way. What does such baptizing with water indicate? It indicates that the old Adam in us should, by daily contrition and repentance, be drowned and die. What does the baptismal life look like? It looks like a daily recognition of my sin, a daily confessing that I have done it again in thought, word, and deed, a daily confessing that to my Father and daily receiving the hope and promise that comes as a baptized child of God. That is, we have confessed. We cling to the promise that Jesus has already forgiven our sins through His cross, and He gives us that forgiveness as His own dear child. Daily contrition and repentance means not just on Sunday. It means not just when the big sins hit us, but it means every day there is a recognition that I am a sinner, broken in thought, word, and deed, and that I need a Savior to forgive me. Living the baptized life means that we're very conscious of who we are and very conscious of the gifts that God has given, and we run to those gifts. Yes, there are times when we get caught in that sin, that same sin that we have struggled with for years and we thought we had it and then we're back at it again. And even in that, your baptism stands valid because Christ has overcome all sin. There again, when we come to Him in contrition, in sorrow, He comes to us with grace and mercy. He forgives our sins and reminds us that He continues to walk with us. He gives us the strength to fight the fight that is ahead of us. He strengthens us by His Holy Spirit, covers us in that armor, and prepares us again to go back into the world living as the child of God, holy and forgiven, and trusting in Jesus in all things. Woo! <laughs>